Hi everyone, today I'll show you how to take a save data from a DS game on the Wii U, back it up on PC, and even use that save data on a PC emulator on the Zoom. I will also show you the opposite. Take a DS game save data and from the emulator and import it on the Wii U. Uh, to do so you will need to have your Wii U modded Mine is modded with Tiramisu, which is still the most recent mod as of 2022 or start of 2023. So here on my Wii U, I have a DS game called Trauma Center uh, with some progress on it. So I'll launch it and show you my progress. As you can see, I have some uh, progress made. So I'll go back to the Wii U menu. To pack up the DS game, save that on your Wii U. We need to use an homebrew in the homebrew launcher called Save Me. So let's launch homebrew launcher. In Ombre Launcher, um, you need an app called Save Me. However, in my case, uh, the app Save Me would only show my Wii U games for some reason. So I had to get another version of Save Me called Save Me WUT. I will show you how to install it, but feel free to skip to the next section if you know how to do so. The easiest way to install Save Me WUT is to use uh, the Homebrew Store for many reasons. F first of all, the store has a lot of Homebrew you can find there. Uh, two, the Homebrews are kept to the latest versions. And three, it installs everything by itself without you needing to copy files manually using your PC. Uh, you will need to have the Wii U online, however with an internet connection. So let's launch uh, the Ombru App Store. As you can see, it's gonna load a lot of Ombrus. You can go and search, select search, then start typing save me. Then you can toggle off the keyboard using Y or by pressing the button on top of the screen. Then select Save Me Mod WUT Port. Now you can press A to install it. Uh, for me, I have A to remove because it's already installed. But once you install it, it should be done. You can leave the screen and you can quit it. Back to the Ombru launcher. You should have Save Me WUT in there, visible in there, so we can launch it. Select Wii U Save Management. Select the game you want to make a backup on. Uh, for me, it's Trauma Center Under the Knife. Select Backup Save Data. Uh, select any slot you want, uh, essentially uh, the slots are only there if you want to make multiple backups of uh, save files. Uh, so since I have none, I'll just use slot 0 and then you can press A to backup. This homebrew puts the backup on the SD card inside your Wii U. Uh, now that it's done, you can hook up your SD card on your PC. With your SD card plugged in your PC, you can uh, open the SD card with File Manager. And the save file will be in Wii U Backups. And then you'll see a list of uh, 
you'll have folders in there and the folders each represent a different game so for me uh, it's the folder here then the folder here are numbered and those are the slot you used uh, on the save me homebrew so I chose uh, slot zero so I'll open it then go to uh, this folder here and now you have uh, you have content here so you to back it up on your PC simply copy uh, all those files on your PC if you want but the file that you really need uh, that represents your your save is this one here so for me I'll just back up this file and I'll back it up in this folder here and there it is it's backed up on my PC now let's say I want to use this save file uh, on an emulator on PC or even elsewhere this file contains your progress so I'll only show how to use it on the, the zoom emulator for this video so what you have to do is you need to change the extension of the file to SAV if you don't see the extension of files on file explorer you can click view on top here and you check file name extension so to change the extension simply rename the file and change uh, what's after the period here so you need it to be SAV like this and then you press enter you're gonna have a warning you can click yes then now you can see here uh, the file type is SAV next you can launch the zoom and launch the title uh, you want to import the save file on for me it's trauma center and then click file import backup memory and then select the file the SAV file uh, you just renamed so for me it's on the desktop trauma center backup and it's this file click open then you have a, a window I just leave it as is and I click OK now the game's gonna reload and it should load your save file let's see here and there it is you have my save file I can keep playing on my emulator if I want now let's say you want to do the opposite uh, you want to uh, take a save file on the emulator or a backup you you made on the PC and import it on the Wii U here's what you gotta do uh, for the zoom you need to uh, launch the zoom then you launch the game you want to uh, import the save file on your Wii U and for me I actually made a second save file so that we can actually I can actually show you as an example so to export the save file from the emulator you need to click file and then you need to click export backup memory it's gonna save an SAV file to your PC so here I'll put it in trauma this folder here I'll call it trauma center export you can close the zoom now you can locate your save file that you just exported and you can change the you need to change the extension to SAVE then you need to copy that save file in the SD card you use on your Wii U so hook up that SD card on your PC and open it in with file explorer then proceed to Wii U backups and select the appropriate folder for your title and then here's what I'm gonna do I want to uh, import it into another folder 
so I'll copy this folder here so I select that folder copy and paste and here's a copy and I'll name it one so this number one will be slot one and save me so I proceed to this folder proceed to this folder here and then I need to override this file here so I think you may need to have the exact same name so I'll copy I'll go click rename and then I'll copy everything here and then I'll rename this file here to the exact same thing then I can copy it in the folder and override the file like this now I'm going to delete this file here this state file because I think it can cause some problems so delete that file if you want to import it on your Wii U so you should be good now uh, take that SD card and put it on your Wii U so there's something you need to do first before uh, importing the save file with save me uh, what you need to do is launch the DS title you have and this is the problem here so whenever you close the DS title uh, the, the console automatically makes a suspend point and it's going to load it the next time you launch the game and what happens is that if uh, you restore you import your save file it's going to restore the game to a point before you actually import the save file so it's not going to work or it can cause trouble so now that the suspend point is loaded the way to prevent uh, the console from making a suspend point is to launch the game like this load the restore point and you close the you turn off the console while you're in the game it's going to prevent uh, the console from doing the restore point so turn off the console if you're there turn the console back on and now you're ready to import the save file so to do so launch homebrew launcher launch save me wut wii u save management select uh, the title you want to import the save file on and then select restore save data then you need to select uh, the number of the folder you put the save file on so for me i put it in the folder uh, named one I can press A to confirm this part here is just to create to back up what's already on the console in case you don't want to overwrite some progress I don't really care so I'll do no and the save file is restore so now let's see if that worked back to the Wii U menu let's see if that worked I'll launch the title And there you go, you can see that I have the second save file I made uh, on the emulator. So I hope this tutorial was uh, useful for you, and thanks for watching. See ya, bye bye.